Ancel AD310 is one of the top selling OBD2 scanners on Amazon currently and that is because for a very cheap price you are getting a reliable diagnostic scanner that works without any issues and can do all of the basic OBD functions. But now the Ancel came out with the Bluetooth version of this scanner which means it should be able to do the same as old version plus you can actually connect to the smartphone and use it with Ancel app to get some extra functionality. Ancel sent me this scanner for free so thank you for sponsoring this video and now we can test it out together to see if it is worth buying okay so new version of Ansel AD310 you can use in two modes either in the classic OBD mode or in Bluetooth mode when you are connected to the app first before we start experimenting with their app I want to plug in the old scanner to find out if the OBD diagnostic mode is the same or if we have some new stuff in the new scanner let me take old one don't forget to turn on the ignition so scanner can communicate with the vehicle okay so functions will stay the same probably but we can see difference maybe in the amount of live data it can display okay so it can display 20 different values as text value and for graphic we have 15 different values which is pretty good for the cheap code reader like this because usually code readers in this price range either cannot display live data graphs at all or they will display live data graphs only for like four or five different values here we have 15 that is everything i need now we can connect our new scanner Okay, so disconnect old one and let's try our new Bluetooth one. And right away you can see the first difference, it is asking us to choose between OBD2 mode or Bluetooth mode. First let's go to OBD2 and as you can see the menu is exactly the same, but I want to see the live data if there is any difference. So we had around 20 text values and 15 graphic values for live data. Here we have one page have 6, so 6, 12, 18, 20 and graphic items, 15 as well. Okay, so for OBD2 mode this scanner is exactly the same like the old version. So you can use it as all other code readers you can read faults here we have some pending codes for oxygen sensor you can erase codes read live data freeze frame data readiness monitors everything is the same as with other code readers but in addition to that you can also use smartphone with your Ansel app and connect directly to this code reader so let's try that now so here I have my app as you can see we are not connected so I need to take the scanner go back here we have the bluetooth mode please download Ansel app I already have app and as you can see this app just connected automatically so very easy to use easy to connect and now we have a bunch of extra functionality for example we have this battery check which will measure the health of battery we can do quick test please turn the ignition off then click ok so turn off the ignition click ok start the engine Now we have these values minimum voltage maximum voltage and we have voltage reference so we can look up what does it mean so we had max voltage 13.5 according to that voltage reference it is not that high and maybe the battery needs to be charged the most functions you can find in this diagnostics menu and now we have screen similar to code reader but we got some extra functionality for example if i go to read codes i can click on this expand and it will not give me just definition of the code but also possible causes and what you can also do if you need more information just go to google and it will look up videos and blog posts about this code and actually if you want to know good way how to solve basically any fault code i recently did video about that so you can watch it up here now most of these functions you can find even in code reader but using them on smartphone is a little bit better for example when you go to live data your phone is responding faster than code reader so it is easier to look at your phone's screen and also if you want to select graph with code reader you need to go back select live data the graphs and then find the value again what you can do here is simply press the value you want to display as graph for example absolute throttle position and now when i press on the gas pedal you can see the change which is by the way refreshing way faster than if you watch on that small code readers screen and then in the Ansel app you also got some extra features for example you have this performance test you can test out your acceleration speeds and also time it takes you to stop the vehicle from certain speed and you can also log the data from your trips and you can also use the performance dashboards you have dashboard with engine life data you can customize those you can select any data you want it even works when you flip the phone check it out i start the engine And the values are changing according to engine. 
The app has also built-in very good diagnostic library. So when I select, we have the code, I think it was P0135 for oxygen sensor. And you can even select between different manufacturers. Let's find Fiat, press search. And same as we could see before, it will give you possible causes for different fault codes. And then after you did some diagnosis, you can also check your diagnostic report. I tried it on two cars. This is my Toyota. You can see it will store these diagnostic reports for every car you scan. And the second car was fiat and we have a rep report for this one as well okay so do i recommend buying ancel ad310 definitely both of them are great value for money so this was ancel ad310 i think both of them are good now if we are using them as actual code reader they are exactly the same i couldn't find any difference at all so if you want just traditional code reader, go with the classic version AD310. However, if you choose to buy Bluetooth version, with the app you're getting a lot of other functionality, like extra information about fault codes, checking out these performance dashboards, acceleration test, or even battery test. So you get maybe two times more functionality. And it is even easier to look at fault codes and engine live data on smartphone. You get faster and better screen on your smartphone anyway. Both of them are linked in the description, so you can go read more about them on Amazon.